Today I did a trash to treasure project where I made a storage box using old cardboard box and cardboard pieces and gave it the look of a book and the cover looks like a magical or celestial very aesthetic decor. It looks like a very book of magic and it's beautiful and whimsical. For today's DIY, I'm using these two boxes. These came for sweets and all. I've taken two such lids which can snugly fit in together. This makes it thicker and it makes it really sturdier. So I'm using some paper tape to uh, secure the two boxes tightly together. so that they behave like one piece. Next I took a piece of cardboard and I placed this box over it such that its one edge is sitting flush to one side of the cardboard. Then I marked about half a centimeter extra margin on three sides. Top the other side and the bottom side and I marked it with a ruler and a pen first and then I cut it out with the sharp knife. Always good cardboards with sharp knives so that the strength is maintained. So I cut out two similar pieces My today's video is part of the Craft Your Stash DIY Challenge hosted by Antionate from Simple Yet Chic. I'll put link to her channel and to the playlist in my description box. And when I keep the box here, it's one side sits flush to the side. There's half a centimeter of hanging edge on one, two and three side and the four side sits flush to it. Similarly, the other piece goes over it, so one on top, one on base and it opens up like a book. My old subscribers know how much I love to do trash to treasure and this is another such trash. It's a huge paper bag and I have opened it and laid it flat and I am going to use this navy blue cardstock paper for this project. So now I have cut a piece of paper which is all navy blue at the back from that and it is still all smooth enough. Now the size of the paper is such that when I straighten it I can paste two of these cardboard paper here and this box I also covered the edges uh, with the same paper this uh, colored paper and there is sufficient space in between this so there's this front portion for the cover this is the width of the box and this is the back portion and plus there is this extra margin all around these portions so that these can be neatly folded. So now I'm going to use some glue and first attach these two pieces. And I'm going to hold these corners with some clothespin. This is a pretty tough paper. So I'll show this one more time here. So in the corner, I apply glue here and then fold it up like this. Here make the creases so whatever extra needs to go there 
can go in there add glue on the sides add glue here and then fold everything together and hold this portion with the clips now because I did it with some bag that I opened up so there are these patches but then I'll can always go ahead and paint them so now this portion is done similarly I'll do the other portion now with this much done for this space I have taken another piece of paper and added some glue at the back and I'm going to cover this up Here you see me adding glue to the base portion of this book cover and now I'm using my box and I'm placing it such that there is this half centimeter edge on the outer three sides of this book and I'll weigh it down and hold it there till it's nicely fixed. So I also cut out a paper. Now another piece of paper that I'm going to glue right on top of this so that it covers the cardboard as well as this and there is this overhanging flap now why i need this overhanging flap is i shall glue it onto the wall inside so that it becomes a box that can stand and open on its own so after i glue this i'm going to glue this portion there are two flaps here i am going to glue this to the inside of the box and then finally I have another piece of paper that will go right into the base and will just finish this box. Finally I have constructed this box. It opens up and there is a case inside and it closes up like a book. Now all these pieces, places where you can see the brown paper or the it's unruly, I'm going to paint it and make this into a neat box book box next is the time to decorate this box since a very long time i had been wanting to paint this waxing and veining of moon the phases of moon it's like like the cycle of life it's like goes into oblivion and comes back to this beautiful full moon i wanted to portray this in one of my diys and today i thought it was perfect opportunity because of the colors of the box here yeah. so i took some gold paint so initially i made a diagonal arrow because there are these fold marks and i had to camouflage those fold marks of the paper so i made a diagonal line rough line with a pencil and then uh, with a bottle i made this curves and uh, then i'm using some gold paint to paint my different phases of moon starting from full moon to going towards new moon and then i made this strips of gold as if the book has been tied with a golden ribbon so it goes across on the front and goes all around at the back as well it should be complete to the very last detail a warm hello to my old friends you are so supportive and encouraging to me and if you are new here, coming here for the first time, stopping by, a warm welcome. And if you love the content of my channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video. And do hit that ringing bell notification twice so that you are notified each time I post my video. So once this was done, I thought it was not looking that great. So I took some more colors, different shades of blues and little white and smudged it to give it that, you know, extra uh, look, that space look, that celestial feel as if it's in the space. And finally, I added some specks of white as if dust, stars, some celestial bodies. And I think this started to look so gorgeous. So here is my storage box and my magical book and this looks so beautiful. 
I love the colors, the design, the pattern. It's magical, it's whimsical. It has this bohemian touch, magical feel about it. It's just a beautiful decor and can be kept on any table, coffee table, to store items like remote control, keys, pen, or kept on a desk and hold stationery in it. It turned out a beautiful decor and a useful one. I'm really happy with it. Do let me know what you think about my today's DIY in the comment section below. And if you love the content of my channel and are new here, please consider subscribing. I'll see you soon with my next DIY. Until then, stay positive, be creative and be happy. Thank you everyone.